Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Dijkstra's algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm is a single source shortest paths algorithm. It is used to solve single source shortest paths problem. Now, what is single source shortest paths problem? Right. In uh, this problem, in single source uh, shortest paths problem, a graph is given to us and we have to find a shortest path from a given source vertex to each vertex of the graph right now what is the meaning of shortest path right now see this weighted graph right it is a weighted graph now the weight of a path in a graph is the sum of the weight of its constituent edges now in this weighted graph see the path from uh, vertex u to vertex v this path u x v right now the weight of this path is the sum of the weight of its constituent edges it means the weight of this path is the sum of weights of the edges u x and x v right and it is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 right so the weight of this path u x v is 4 right now see here there are many paths from vertex u to vertex v in this graph one is this one u w x v another one is u w v right but the path whose weight is minimum right between the vertices u and v right the path with minimum weight between the vertices u and v is the shortest path between the vertices u and v right so in a single source shortest path problem what we have to do we have to find a shortest path from a given source vertex to each vertex of the graph right now what is Dijkstra's algorithm Dijkstra's algorithm is used to solve single source shortest path problem for those weighted directed graphs in which all edge weights are non-negative in this algorithm we maintain two variables for each vertex v of the graph right the variable pi v it denotes the predecessor of vertex v right and the variable dv it denotes the shortest path estimate of uh, vertex v from source vertex right now suppose uh, vertex s is the source vertex of the graph right now we have to find a shortest path from vertex s to each vertex of the graph by Dijkstra's algorithm right in this algorithm, in Dijkstra's algorithm, first we will set the value of uh, variable pi for each vertex of graph as nil, right? So first of all, what will we do? We will set the value of variable pi for each vertex of graph as nil, right? The value of uh, variable d for each vertex except source vertex s is set as infinity and for source vertex s it is 0 right now after this what we have to do in Dijkstra's algorithm is we have to repeat this procedure until all vertices of the graph are processed right we have to repeat this procedure until all the vertices of the graph are processed now what this procedure is right among unprocessed vertices, we will choose a vertex with minimum value of variable d and we will relax its outgoing edges. Right now, what is the meaning of uh, relaxing an edge or edge relaxation? Right, suppose there is an edge ab and we have to relax it. Right, in edge relaxation, we check. If the shortest path to B can be improved by going through vertex A right now 
how do we check this right that uh, the weight of uh, this as AB is W right and uh, as we know that DB right DB is the shortest path estimate of vertex B from source vertex S and DA is the shortest path estimate of vertex A from source vertex S right now we check if DA plus W is less than DB or not if DA plus W is less than DB then it means shortest path to vertex B will be improved by going through A right so we will set vertex A as the predecessor of vertex B right and new value of variable D for vertex B is DA plus W right but if DA plus W is not less than DB then we will not make any change right we will leave it as it is right and uh, this procedure is called edge relaxation right now it will be more clear after this example suppose uh, this uh, weighted graph is given to us and uh, here the source vertex is S right and what we have to do we have to find the shortest path for each vertex of uh, this graph from this uh, source vertex S right so first of all what will we do first of all we will set the predecessor value right for each vertex as nil right so first of all what will happen the value of variable pi for each vertex of uh, this graph will be nil right right now and uh, what we have to do we have to set the shortest path estimate of each vertex except source vertex S as infinity right so in this graph we have set the shortest path estimate of each vertex except source vertex as infinity right and now what we have to do now shortest path estimate of source vertex S will be set as 0 right now what we have to do we have to repeat this procedure until all the vertices of this graph are processed right what we have to do in this procedure first of all we will choose a vertex with minimum value of variable D among unprocessed vertices then we will relax the outgoing edges of that vertex right so in this graph right now the vertex whose value of variable d is minimum is vertex s so for vertex s there are two outgoing edges one is sa and another one is sb right so we have to relax these two edges right so if we set the predecessor of vertex B as vertex S then shortest path estimate of vertex B will become 0 plus 5 that is 5 and 5 is less than infinity right so what will we do we will set vertex S as the predecessor of vertex B right so pi B is set as S right we have relaxed this edge now we have to relax this edge as A right now the value of uh, DA is infinity right and uh, value of DS is 0 right now if we set 
this vertex S as the predecessor of vertex A, then DA, right, value of variable D for vertex A will become 0 plus 1, that is 1, and it is less than infinity, right. So what will we do? We will change the value of variable D for vertex A and we will set vertex S as the predecessor of vertex A, right? Now vertex S is the predecessor of vertex A, right? So here we have processed this vertex S. Now we have these five unprocessed vertices. The vertex with the minimum value of variable D among these unprocessed vertices is vertex A, right? The value of variable D for this vertex A is 1, right? So we will relax all of its outgoing edges, right? First of all, we will relax its outgoing edge AB, right? Value of variable D for vertex B is 5 and value of variable D for vertex A is 1, right? And weight of this edge is 2, right? Now see, 1 plus 2 is 3 and it is less than 5, right? So what will we do? We will set the value of variable D for vertex B as 3, right? And we will set vertex A as the predecessor of vertex B, right? We have set the vertex A as the predecessor of vertex B. Right? Now vertex A is the predecessor of vertex B. Now we will relax other outgoing edges of vertex A. Another outgoing edge of vertex A is AD. Right? Value of variable D for vertex D is infinity right so here the value of variable d for vertex a is 1 and the weight of edge ad is 1 right now what will we do 1 plus 1 is 2 right and uh, 2 is less than the value of variable of uh, d for vertex d that is 2 is less than infinity so what will we do we will set vertex a as the predecessor of vertex d right we have set the vertex A as the predecessor of vertex D, right? And uh, the value of variable D for vertex D is set as 2, right? Now the another outgoing edge from vertex A is AC, right? Now the value of variable D for vertex C is infinity and value of variable D for vertex A is 1 and the weight of edge AC is 2, right? So 1 plus 2 is 3 and it is less than infinity, right? So what will we do? We will set the value of variable D for vertex C as 3, right? We have set the value of variable D for vertex C as 3, right? And we have set the predecessor of vertex C as vertex A. Right. Here we have shown in this graph that vertex A is the predecessor of vertex C. Right. So now we have processed the vertex A also. Right. Now the unprocessed vertices are B, C, D, and E. Right. Now the vertex which has a minimum value for variable D among these four unprocessed vertices is vertex D, right? So we will relax the outgoing edge from vertex D, right? There is only one outgoing edge from vertex D and it is DE, right? Value of variable D for vertex D is 2, value of variable D for vertex E is infinity and the weight of edge DE is 2, right? Now see 2 plus 2 is 4 and it is less than infinity. So we will set the value of variable D for vertex E as 4, right? Because 4 is less than infinity. And we will set 
vertex D as the predecessor of vertex C. So value of variable pi for vertex E is D because we have set D as the predecessor of vertex E. Here I have shown it in this graph. Vertex D is the predecessor of vertex E. Right. So we have processed the vertex D also. Now we have three unprocessed vertices B, C and E. Right. Now here there are two vertices B and C whose uh, value of variable D is minimum among the unprocessed vertices. So first of all uh, we will process the vertex B. We can process vertex C also but here I will process the vertex B. Now see there is only one outgoing edge from vertex B that is BD. So we will relax BD. Right. Now see value of variable D for vertex B is 3 weight of edge BD is 2 and value of variable D for vertex D is 2. Now see 3 plus 2 is 5 and it is greater than 2. Right? It is not less than the value of variable D for D. It is not less than 2. Right? 3 plus 2 is 5 and it is not less than 2. So we will not make any change here. We will leave it as it is. Right? Now we have two unprocessed vertices C and D. Right? So first uh, we will find uh, whose uh, value of variable D is minimum. Right here see this vertex C. Its uh, variable D's value is 3. Right. So it is less than the value of uh, variable D for vertex C. Now we will process the vertex C. It has only... Now there are two outgoing edges from vertex C. One is CE and another one is CD, right? So first uh, we relax this uh, edge CD, right? Now the value of variable D for vertex C is 3 and weight of edge CD is 3, right? And value of variable D for vertex D is 2, right? Now see 3 plus 3 is 6 and it is not less than 2, right? So we will leave it as it is, right? Now see this edge CE. Now we will relax it. The value of variable D for vertex E is 4 and the value of variable D for vertex C is 3 and the weight of this edge CE is 1. Now see 3 plus 1 is 4 right? and it is not less than 4. So we will leave it as it is. right? We will not change it. Now only one unprocessed vertex is left that is vertex E. Now there is uh, no outgoing edge from vertex E to relax. So we will leave it here. Right? Now we have got this single source shortest path tree from vertex S. Right? Here vertex S is the source vertex. Right? And uh, now see suppose we have to find the shortest path from vertex S to vertex E then it will be S A D E right suppose we have to find the shortest path to vertex P from source vertex S then it will be S A P right so it is a single source shortest paths tree right and here source vertex is vertex S right 